Greetings YouTube, Ronan Frog87 here, and today I wanted to talk about a new trap card that's, that's, a TC, that's a TCG exclusive that's coming out in Primal Origins, and that trap card is Escalation of the Monarchs. That's pretty cool, right? The name? Something that even Ron Burgundy could be proud of? <laughs> Alright, for all you uh, Anchorman fans out there. Alright guys, so uh, its effect is as follows. It's a continuous trap card, and it reads, Once per turn, during your opponent's main phase, or your opponent's battle phase, you can, immediately, after this card effect resolves, tribute summon one monster. Well, that's pretty good. I mean, being able to tribute monsters on your uh, on your opponent's turn, this basically makes, uh, you know, you don't have to, you know, when you run Monarchs, you don't really have to be afraid of Effect Veiler anymore, seeing as how Effect Veiler can only be activated during your main phase. So when you activate this card, tribute monster, you know, summon your Monarch or any other one tribute monster, you know, uh, the opponent can Effect Veiler you. You know how... For a lot of Monarch players, you know, Effect Veiler is like one of the worst nightmares. You go summon your Monarch, they go Effect Veiler, and the only thing you can do is just they basically attack if you're able to. And uh, this makes, oh, well, I remember the, uh, that one quick play spell card that's coming out as well, uh, the Monarch Storm Forth. Well, it, this works perfectly with it. So that's why it's a quick play. So everyone wondering why it's a quick play? Well, here's your answer. So now I guess Soul Exchange really is a, really is dead now, right guys? Um, <laughs> I mean, since it's not a quick play, and you know, you got secret battle phase, and yada yada yada. But yeah, so this works in perfect conjunction with the Monarch Storm Forth. And uh, a funny idea I just had is so, so for all those, for all of you guys to uh, play Dark Dust Spirit, Dark Dust Spirit during your opponent's turn. Oh man, the hilarity! <laughs> oh, that'd be some stuff, wouldn't it, guys? All right. So yeah, I mean, this this obviously I wouldn't. I would only put this in Frog Monarchs if you're not heavily dependent on Treeborn Frog for obvious reasons. And I can see this really going great with uh, in Ghost Trick, Ghost Trick Monarchs as well. Seeing as uh, you, they don't utilize the back row that much. I mean, some builds do, some builds don't, but we'll see. And uh, yeah, guys, those are my thoughts on this card. Uh, what do you guys think? Is it, you know... Do mo does this really make does this push monarchs up a level? Does it make them more playable? Are monarchs still uh, do they still need something else to, you know to be able to compete in today's meta? Oh, so what do you guys think? All right, guys, let me know. Let me know down below. Uh, as always, I am Ronan Frog 87. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I bid you farewell.